Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Ash Said It, AshSaidIt.com. AshSaidIt.com. Please excuse my glistening self. I just finished some Just Dance. Yeah, so starting on my top threes, this is week three of Just Dance for me. And it's insane. It's exciting. And I was reminded of something that I totally forgot until I started Just Dance again. And that is one of my favorite groups of all time is ABBA. Y'all know ABBA, them sweetest people. They sweetest, you know, Mama Mia. Here I go again. Uh, um, Dancing Queen. Knowing me, knowing you. Uh -huh. Yeah, ABBA. ABBA is the shiznet. Oh my gosh. I like knew all the songs. I'm like, I'm doing the moves. And I'm singing with them because it's just like, ABBA is the shit still. Shout out to ABBA. I don't know where y'all at. Probably back in Switzerland. Sweden. I don't know. Wherever y'all was from. I forgot that. ABBA is the shit still. And they had some really awesome songs. And it took me back to my childhood because I spent a lot of time just um, watching VH1. And VH1 was always playing their music and doing like behind the music and all that type of stuff. So... Shout out to ABBA. Hey, ABBA. ABBA. All right, next on my list. Oh, my gosh. So the Britney Spears saga continues. So it was reported last week. They're like, oh, Britney's dad is stepping down as conservator and everything's going to be great and Britney's going to get her life back. Not yet. Not yet. Long story short, he's not stepping down. He is being very vague in his approach to this and basically says that he won't prevent the, the entry of a new conservator at some point, but he doesn't believe that he's done a bad job and he's just there for his daughter and he's just trying to make sure that her money goes where it's supposed to go. I don't trust him none. I don't trust that whole family. Brittany need to have her life back. Her birthday is in December and I'm crossing fingers. I'm hoping, sweet babe Jesus, that she gets, at least gets the father off the conservatorship by December, at least that. We can work on ending it all together at some point, but um, I really need for him to be gone because he is just, um, he's just a terrible person just all together just a terrible horrible person and she deserves better a lot better and she deserves to have a life she want to get married get married she want to have some more babies have some more babies the part that really just strikes a chord with me is that this conservatorship has been going on for over 13 years and one of her children is 13 the other one i believe is like 15 but it's just really, um, it's really sad. It's really, really sad. So I'm just hoping that that ends well for her. And another mm, Disney affiliated person is no longer affiliated with Disney anymore. Who am I talking about? Scarlett Johansson. Now you guys know Scarlett Johansson was Black Widow. I say was because, mm, spoiler alert, Black Widow dies in her movie. Well, as far as filming and negotiations and contracts and stuff, all that happened before the pandemic. Well, with the pandemic hitting, what I know about Disney is Disney likes to recoup all of their money. They want all of it. All of the money, all of the money, all of it. And they knew that they were not going to get a lot of people. Hey, Karen. <laughs> they knew that they were not going to get a whole bunch of people into theaters. So Disney Plus was available. They're like, you know what? We're gonna get these people at home. These people that don't wanna go out to the movie theaters, we are going to pull all of them in from that and we're gonna get that money, but it's actually impeding on the money that Scarlett was supposed to get from the box office. So box office numbers weren't nowhere nearly what they were supposed to match. And Scar Jo is pregnant right now, like in actual real life. Shout out to her and Colin Jost. Their first baby together. First baby. You guys know Colin Jost is one of the head writers of SNL. Anyway, so she's pregnant right now. So I think a lot of this is pregnancy brain. Who sues Disney and think you're going to win? 
you go sue Disney and win? No. I, either it was a really thought after mm, process, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe there's a method to the madness or it's just pregnancy brain. Either way, Disney has basically cut all ties with her. They've cut all ties with her. She was supposed to star in the Tower of Terror. Everybody remembers the Tower of Terror. I remember the Tower of Terror. I remember the ride at Universal. It was so much fun. So much fun. But yeah, um, she was supposed to star in that. They've scrapped all of the projects that they had lined with her. And what's going around the rumor mill is DC has actually offered her a, a role. We don't know what role or to what degree. And we don't know if it's true. I don't, I don't I don't even know if it's true. I just know that it was it was passed around darlings and things were shared with me so I don't know what is from what isn't. Hmm. <laughs> That's pretty much the story. So fairly interesting topics this week. I hope that you guys are having a great fantabulous week again. My podcast Ash said it daily is available across all platforms. All you got to do is search Ash said it and you'll see the bright canary yellow You'll see it and you'll see me like, oh, there she is. There's Ash. I see Ash now. <laughs> but I love you guys to pieces. Thank you so much for all of your support, all your love throughout the years. We got some big and better things coming. Oh, just wait until you see. I'll let y'all later. Deuces.